So how what we do is it, it's we turn we turn our fists in and we we punch like that and we get that jackhammer effect going with our shoulders. Yeah? You remember, remember that old Transformer Rumble? Yeah, yeah man. Rumble. <laughs> it's like that. Okay? So Hi, I'm Dylan Andrews uh, from Low Heart, New Zealand. Uh, there, there's an audition process to get into the Ultimate Fighter, like uh, a lot of reality stuff that's on TV right now. Um, the process is what happens is you, you rock up to a venue, they have a venue, they say, hey, look, we're going to be hosting uh, auditions for the show on this day at this venue, so be there. So, what I do is I rocked up, uh, they get you to show your jiu jitsu skills, and basically, what they'll do is they'll eliminate after each round. So there'll be groundwork, then there'll be stand-up work, uh, and then there'll be an interview process. So what they do is, if you make it past rolling, you get to do stand-up. If you make it through stand-up, you get to do the interview. If you make it through to the interview, you come back for another interview. And then there's a series of tests, medicals and physicals that you go through after that, uh, if you're successful enough to make it to that point. So It was, it was no secret that the ratings were dropping as far as... Um, the seasons were going, so you know they 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 went out on a limb and, and did a whole new format. And uh, this time they actually went and got some real fighters. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> that that was the biggest thing. You know, um, that Dana talked to us about was in his heart he felt like he had grabbed, you know, seven fourteen of you know what he thought were the toughest middleweights around at the time, um, and uh, that, that 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 in itself made for an awesome season. They, they got this season down to a team, man, you know. They threw it out there for people to take and you either took it or you didn't, but um, the characters that you saw, that's them, man, you know. If anything, they probably didn't play them up as much as they should have. Those people are who they are. Josh, Salmon on my team, the arrogant guy, you know, who's self-righteous self full of himself. Well, guess what? That's Josh Salmon. That's him. Probably they didn't play him up enough, you know. He's... He's a cool dude, man. I actually, I like Josh. They really liked who I was as a character and as, as a person, you know, and I wasn't, you know, my, my coach said before I left, you know, just be yourself, you know. Um, and another good friend, Jamie uh, Tohuna, who fights in the UFC as well, sent me the same, exact same message, you know. Um, just be yourself. And, and, and that will not only pay dividends for myself but for the country where I come from you know and who we are as people and stuff like that and I, I, they told my story well man oh man I tell you what man I swear to the, the feeling I had after that finish like the ref pull it, I, I can't I can't explain it I can't really I, I can't I don't know I mean I, you see the emotion on my face and just uh unbelievable sense of relief and achievement. I don't know too much about him, I think he's some good judo or some good Muay Thai. Um, I think he's pretty well rounded. Um, everyone's going to be tough in the UFC man, there's no easy fight so uh, I'm just training hard like I always do and, and be ready. I think what's unique about the fighters that come from this country and the three Kiwis that are in the UFC is, is our demeanor and our approach to fighting and um, we're, we're, we're a laid back country, we're pretty relaxed, you know, the people on this side are pretty chilled out, you know, uh, Dana White loves it, you know, he likes, you know, if Dana White calls us to say can you fight somebody, we're going to take the fight, you know, there's a lot of people who do little suki bubbles and cry around, around the other side of the water, mainly in America, that aren't necessarily like that and don't have that same approach but we're we're a very relaxed we're relaxed people in general so I, you know I think that plays big into how we conduct ourselves and, and how we fight in the UFC um, so it's like going back and knowing that I could probably come back here in 50 years and everything's going to be here nothing has changed nothing changes man I love it you know I have childhood memories of this place and I can come back and say whoa it's still there you know, that's what I love about coming back home. It doesn't change. I've got to give a shout out to my, my sponsors. Um, 
uh, who are Nutrition Warehouse, Nutrition Warehouse and Advanced Fight Gear uh, in Australia, uh, Notorious Cuts, um, and um, signing a new deal with Tap Out very soon, so that will be coming within the next week. So look out for that big one. Thank you very much.